What's happening, folks? It's your boy, the Carolina Highness Greensboro Goat, Rondo Shakur, and you are rocking with the Progress Report right now. Get it. The Progress Report. What's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is the South by Southwest edition of the Progress Report, and I'm right here with Ramel Shakur. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely, man. Well, let everybody know what you do. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I go by the name of Ramel Shakur from Carolina, North Carolina to be exact. Dope. Um, I'm known out there as the Greensboro Goat Carolina Hunnies. Okay. Don't forget that. But you know what I'm saying? We out here just, you know, getting the vibe going. Uh, real laid back. You know what I'm saying? Just good energy. Absolutely, man. Talk about, you know, growing up in North Carolina and what part? Uh, so North Carolina, um, you know, we, we like to uh, reference it as the, the melting pot. You know mm. what I'm saying? We, got, we have so many different cities and, uh, and states that come in, migrate and, and settle down there. Uh, you know, it's, also, it's, it's a lot of that and it's a lot of, you know, here's and there. It's like every other city, but, you know, it's sure. a lot of solid folks and a lot of culture there, too. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. man. I rock with the Carolinas and I feel like, you know, y'all on the come up, like especially Definitely. North Carolina, super coming up. Definitely. And with the music, the music been fired, but I feel like, you know, Y'all getting more attention. I don't know what it is, but I'm here About for time. it. About time. Yeah. I'm here for that, though. I'm here for it. Um, and your background is so interesting, man. Talk about just growing up singing in a choir. Yeah, definitely. That was, uh, you know, the biggest influence for me, you know, just, you know, just God, period. You know what I'm saying? I ain't Absolutely. even going to hold you. That's just my everything, my rock. So, you know what I'm saying? That right there, just the music, the melodies, to see how it moved people, that mm. was just like, that was what really got me into music and um, just the influence of how, how it moved people. So that was that, you know, from there, I just, hip hop, you know, the, the, the culture, you, know, you, you can't you can't escape it sometimes. Hey man, it's gotta be in you, mm -hmm. for sure, man. Um, so, you know, growing up in the choir, did that influence your sound and your style at all? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Uh, you know, when I first started rapping, I was listening to Wayne, you know, all bar. You know, you know how it is, you know, the greatest rapper alive. So sure. we got that. But you know, the, the with church and, and, and choirs, you got the harmonies, the timing, just precision and shit like that. Mm. Yeah, that definitely helped me, you know, where I'm at now. Big respect, big respect, man. And your latest record, um, that what it do, I fuck with that. It's Thank a vibe, you, you know. I, you. I like the melodies in it. It's it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's you know what I mean it, it works. I really like it. Thank you. And that's your first visual this year, I believe, right? Yep, first one. Okay. Yep. So let's let's talk about that song and that visual. Yeah, yeah. What it do? Um, I recorded. That was the first song I recorded. My first time in LA. A word. So, yeah. It sound like a you know you was in a different vibe. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I got you. She got off the plane literally like twelve o'clock that night. Got on, got right into the studio. Recorded it. Uh, we shot the video in Miami. Mm. We got a couple shorties. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Respect. So it, was, it was a vibe, definitely. Big respect, man. Yeah, like I said, I dig it. You know, I think I think traveling is so important for artists and just people in general, but especially Facts. for y'all because, Facts. like, you can tell that you was in a different type of creative bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So respect. So let's talk about South by Southwest. Of course, yes. you know, that's what we out here for. Mm -hmm. um, have you been out here before? No, this is my first time in Texas. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's been your experience? Amazing, you know they say everything is bigger in Texas, and that's a fact. Mm. So fellas, you make your way down. <laughs> make your way Got down. you. But yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it's been good. The love has been great. We were we reciprocating and doing all that. So damn right. That's right. Damn right. Have you performed yet? Yes, we perform. I've been here for like three days, perform every night. Respect. So we got another show tonight and another one tomorrow. Nice, so nice, nice. What's what's been the feedback? Nothing but love, you know. Mm. Being a new artist, it's uh, you know you, you gotta you gotta watch the crowd and trying to Absolutely. get a feel for them. But overall, you know, as long as you got them, them heads rocking, yeah, 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 you, you got something good. And it's always love after the fact. You know, Damn right. IG and shit like that. So. Big respect, man. Salute to you and salute to your team too. You. you know, you can't do nothing without a team, man. Not at all. And you know, I, I always pay attention to that as a as an interviewer and as, as a as a publicist. Right. I pay attention to everything, mm -hmm. and I love when people move as one. You know what I mean? So talk about your label. Let's talk about them. Man. Yes, the multi mogul media, uh, North Carolina based, Greensboro based. I mean, it's you. very authentic. Uh, nothing fake about my label, man. I'm just super thankful to be a part of this. Hell my, yeah. My, my manager, CEO, off the curb, Tay. You see, we got the merch on. Nice. You know and we rocking Oh, I'm shit. digging it, yeah. Yeah, we outside. You know, we represent, man. It's just, it's really family. You know what I'm saying? This music shit is cool. I've learned a lot from bro. 
nothing but gems, but it's really family more than anything. Love it, sure. love it, man. Blessings. Like I said, salute to you and your team again, because I get it. You can't do nothing without a team. Straight up. Shit, man, shit. Straight up. So I wanted to ask you about your Remelody Mondays. Yes, Let's yes. talk about that, please. Okay, so Remelody Mondays was a, um, a, pl- a, a series that I was doing for the last couple of years. I kind of slowed it down since we've been more busy. But, I got you. Um, when I was doing it for 157 weeks in a row straight, no mess-ups consecutively, uh, I dropped a video on the verse. So if you go on my IG and scroll down a little bit, you'll, you'll see all 157 episodes mm. and back to back. So that's what really got my traction going. And from there, then I got you know recognized for my label, and here we are. Period, man. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's hard. Sure. Um, I love the fact that you refer to yourself as a king. So talk about self love, and you know, getting to that point because you know it's a journey. It but talk journey, about that. And it's it's a much needed journey. Absolutely, for all my brothers. Absolutely. Like, take the time to love you, bro. Like before you go out and try to distribute and mm. make sure everybody else is good before they are good. Make sure you are a good king, like. You know, it took a little time to learn that, but now, you know what I'm saying, with, with the influence I have from my label, you know what I'm saying, my OGs and everything like that, I'm, I'm just, it's starting to make sense for me. But, Kings, you're worthy, so make sure you do that. Take care of you. Damn right. Mm-hmm. Damn right. I love that, man. Keep that energy going, mm-hmm. for, for sure. sure. So, um, so I want to ask you to define our keyword progress. You know, we talk about growth, getting better, and I'm sure the next time I talk to you, you're going to have a lot more progression going on. Absolutely. So what does the word progress mean to you? Progress means to me forward mm. green lights you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um this positivity you know mm. what i'm saying like progress is nothing nothing short of greatness honestly yeah, right. like if you if you if you got progress even if it's small you got something going a lot of folks don't want to celebrate those small victories but those are very important so progress yes. is everything. yes 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 say that say that mm-hmm. so if they haven't listened to you before and let people know why should they check you out Check me out, man. We got too many niggas killing, too many stealing, scamming folks, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to cut that off and vibe out, you know what I'm saying? Right. My, my vibe is very positive, good energies for the ladies, for the males, taking care of their business, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, so. Absolutely. So follow me. Ramel Shakur everywhere. Respect, man. So what's next? What can we expect next? What's next? Okay, so we're working on a couple projects. I got a couple, you know, I got my hands on um, a couple projects I'm about to put out with my guy Steve Got Keys. Uh, Jay Bangham, he's the guy who produced the What It Do record. Okay. Yeah, so I got a couple joints in, in, in the cut, so we're going to be le- re- releasing these projects and these videos, and we'll see where we at with it. I love it. I love it, man. Well, you definitely got my support. I'm Thank fucking you. with you. I'm fucking you. with the movement. Um, and yes, I, I love the, the subject and the content matter as well, so Thank keep you. that going, man. The Progress Report.